Welcome back to the art techniques. I'm now going to do the other techniques that are in the watercolor sampler. So the first one is warm gray and cool gray. So basically this is mixing up different values of gray or tones of gray. Um, one thing you want to familiarize yourself with is the color wheel and there's 12 colors on the color wheel and colors that are opposite each other on the color wheel make a neutral color. So yellow, which is opposite of violet, when you mix those together, it basically cancels out those colors. Depending on how much of each uh, hue you use and the, the concentrate, you get different colors. Um, so anything across the color wheel is going to create a more neutral color. So it will go into a grayish color. So I'm going to show you some examples of how you can do this. Of course, if you use black or gray paint, you're going to have a gray. But this is a way of learning how to make your own grays. So I'm going to start with warm gray and I have all the different colors here. Um, there's different ways to do it. So I'm going to start with a already mixed up um, orange that I have here. So I'm going to take a little bit of that. It's very strong. And the complement of orange is blue. So I'm going to now add blue to this. You can see how it's changing into a very um, neutralized orange. All right. So this is actually, you probably would call this a brown or a, um, something in that, in that category. All right, so as I'm adding more blue, it's becoming uh, less orange and a little more toward um, even almost a purplish color. So orange is made up of red and yellow, so now we have all the primaries. So the other way of thinking about it is that, that grays are made up of the primary colors. So I'm going to go ahead and paint this one down, and we'll see what it kind of looks like on the paper. Um, so this is the warm gray. It really has a purple tint to it. Um, let's just try a different way of doing it for the next one. So I'm going to now use, um, I'm going to do blue with some yellow. So now I've got green here, so I'm going to then do a little bit of red into that. This one is a little bit more toward the blue. Okay, so this one is going toward the cooler colors. Now, another way to make a gray is to put your burnt umber and blue together. So I'm going to take a little bit of blue here and a little bit of burnt umber and that makes a gray. Blue and burnt umber. So I'm going to paint that one just, I'll paint that one over here for a minute. Um, now the blue and burnt umber um, is a really good one for the cool. These warm grays and cool grays right now are probably going a little bit too much toward the color, so I would let those dry and add a more of the complement to that to tone it down and make it more of a neutral. All right, the next one is masking tape and crayon. So. Um, these are resists, so I was looking for a 
crayon and ended up missing that I do not have one in my house so I am using a wax crayon so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I mean a, a candle so I'm gonna take the candle draw down on the paper kind of hard and I'm gonna take some masking tape and also put some tape down this blue tape so basically what I'm doing is I'm blocking out so that I'm saving areas that I want to save to be white the watercolor technique the classic watercolor technique you do not use white paint you save the white paper and then at the end of the project or end of your painting if there's any areas that you really wanted to stay white and you wanted to um, save those areas you can um, either use a crayon the candle or other methods um, to block so the masking tape is going to make like a big um, sort of irregular shape you could tear it into smaller things so now I'm going to go ahead and paint over that so you can see what it is going to look like so I'm going to use a fairly dark color here all right so you can see that the candle wax is resisting the color so you can see where I drew on that so if you had a, a white crayon um, that would be also um, a very good idea I just don't happen to have any the next one is layering three colors and I'm going to go uh, to the next video for that segment Hi, right, this is the last three of the techniques I'm going to go over so what I have here is layering three colors so I put a yellow down and let that dry so there's several ways to use watercolor one is to mix up the exact color you want another is to work in layers and it's very useful to think about it in terms of layers because often you want to build up your color more slowly so of course yellow is a very light color if I put blue over it so I'm going to come over here and get a little bit of blue and I layer the blue right on top so what I'm doing here is I made a layer of yellow and then a layer of blue which of course will make green um, so it is a more gradual way of creating the color that you want um, now the next one is scrape in size so this one is very simple I'm just gonna get some color and make it a little bit darker okay so I painted down some green and I'm going to take the back of a paintbrush that's fairly small and I'm just going to scrape into that and what happens is you get the lines go into the paper and they create this um, kind of different different that in this case they are darker so generally they're going to be darker as it dries it might change a little bit um, this paintbrush disintegrated so um, it's it's a kind of an interesting um, technique very free-flowing um, kind of thing now uh, the next one is masking fluid and um, this is called a uh, frisket or masking fluid and it's a liquid material what you do is you um, paint it on the area again you want to save white so um, one of the ways to do this is to take a paintbrush that you don't care about at all anymore that you don't mind if it gets ruined you dip it in and a place where you want to stay hundred percent white in a very particular area you paint that on and it's sort of like rubber cement it dries and then you can paint over that at the end of your painting 
or when you're ready, you, you kind of rub it off with your hand um, and peel it off and it, the white is underneath, so you save it. So I can't paint that on because the one I have turned out to be dried out. So I'm gonna use rubber cement. Rubber cement is very similar, but this material is specifically designed for watercolor and I recommend a product like this, but in a pinch, I'm gonna use the rubber cement. So what I would do here is, again, with a small paintbrush, I'm using the back of this because I don't want this brush to get ruined. I would then draw that on there and let that dry and then paint over it. So because it has to dry, I can't show you that. Um, the masking tape and crayon from other from the other video, I'm gonna peel that off so you can see the tape um, and how that looks. Okay, so this, um, this is the incised, okay, so I'm just gonna go, this is the incised one. This is layering three colors, so let's go ahead and put one more layer. So it's sort of a light green, so I could add, just for the sake of argument, let's add another layer of yellow. So now it's going to be a layered, stronger yellow, more of a saturated yellow with a bit of green in it. Um, these are the two warm gray, cool gray, although this looks more like pink. So the complement of, of red is green, so if I was to get that looking more gray, I could put a layer of green over it. Let's just see. So by layering a layer of green, now that's a little bit less um, of an actual color. The cool gray has become very dark. It's very dark blue. Orange is the complement of blue, so I'm just gonna take just a teeny bit of orange because that's a very strong orange and place a bit of orange over this cool gray. Um, now the orange is dominating a bit, so I'm just gonna go back a little bit with the blue. So uh, that makes a very dark, I've made a very dark blue, gray. Okay, right there. All right. Um, okay, so those are the, all of the techniques and enjoy trying them out. And uh, just also, here's how the salt came out from the earlier one. Um, came out pretty, you can really see the, the materials there. All right, have fun making these um, samples.